Hello world, welcome to edupediaworld.com. In this video, we are going to cover some types of programming languages. A program is a set of instructions given to the computer to perform our desired task. And programming language is a formal constructed language designed to communicate instructions to a machine which particularly is a computer. So thus programming languages are there to create programs and to control the behavior of the system. So now let's have a look at some of the programming languages. Machine language, the first and foremost it is the only language which is made up of numbers or binary numbers so is directly understandable by the computer. It consists of numeric instructions and operands that can be stored in memory and directly executed by the computer's processor. It contains primitive statements that perform ordinary tasks such as move data from one location to another or performing simple arithmetic. The following is an example of an Intel machine language code that simply is moving 5 into the AL register where the registers are the high speed storage locations inside the central processing unit that can hold 8, 16 or 32 bits of data. They are identified by the symbolic names such as AH, AL, AX and then extended AX register. So the binary code is there. The first 8 bits are the operation code and the second 8 bits are the operand. The complete instruction simply will move number 5 to the register called AL. So in this way we can write the entire code and the computer can execute it in no time. But it is not that much simpler. In fact it is not possible for a user, for a layman to write such binary instructions. That is why we opted some other languages and the immediate language after machine language is the assembly language. Which, which we will study in a minute but we can see that binary code in assembly language will be written as move al comma 5 so this statement simply will move 5 to the al register it this statement is equivalent to that binary code but we can see how much simple is it and how much readable it is now. So let's have a look at the assembly language now. It is machine specific programming language that uses mnemonic instructions instead of binary codes to have a one to one correspondence between its statements and the computer's native machine language. Because of its close relationship to the machine language both in structure and in function it is closely tied up to the computer's hardware and software. Assembler is a program there that converts source code programs from assembly language into the machine language so that computer can understand and interpret them. Most popular assemblers include Microsoft Assembler, Boland Turbo Assembler and then the Intel's Assembler 86. The examples of assembly language are as follows like push AX. It simply will push the AX register on the stack push A. Simply will push all the general registers on the stack then these actually all are the reserved words of assembly language. Move AL to 5 simply uh, move AL comma 5 simply will move number 5 to AL register. Then add 20 to AX will add number or integer 20 to the register AX. 
then CLC is simply a mnemonic code to clear the screen. So thus we can see the function or the working is much simpler now for the user. Now comes high level languages. Programs are compiled into either assembly language or machine language. Each statement usually translates into multiple machine language instructions as they require compiler or debugger for translation into the computer's language. They are slower languages but are extremely user friendly. As we saw the machine language totally is not possible for us to write programs in it. Assembly language although is simpler but still having mnemonic codes which one the programmer has to memorize. So opposed to that the high level languages are there which are extremely user friendly. Uh, the code is much simpler adaptable code for the users and are easy to learn. Examples include BASIC, COBOL, FORTRAN, C, C++, structured query language etc. Now let's see a general comparison which simply is showing machine language generation by the assembler. There is one to one correspondence and then from the high level language programs when they are interpreted one simple instruction of a high level language has to be translated into multiple machine language instructions. Thank you for watching video on edupediaworld.com.